Hi, welcome to the first ever episode of Creator Bingo. Here's how it works. I asked all you creators out there, all you brave and willing creators, to send me your own stuff, your own videos, your own TikToks, whatever. And what I want to do is I want to provide criticism and feedback and tips and advice for your videos. I wanna share what I think works well and what I think could possibly use some work. And to gamify it a little, we have bingo cards. And you'll notice this bingo card has uh, a bunch of brand new spaces, such as a video that made me laugh, aesthetically pleasing, good title, chat predicts. But the whole point, the whole point of these silly streams, one, I wanna do reaction content the right way, the ethical way, where everything you're about to watch today was willingly sent in by its creators. The other reason I wanna do this is that I wanna turn Jitter Jacks Films as a channel into more of like a workshop and help up and coming creators hone their craft and help them make the best videos that they can. And maybe other creators can learn from it. Who freaking knows? We have our first brave volunteer. This video comes from YouTuber Mate the Potate. And this video is Medieval PS1 Mate the Potate. Let's take a look at your thumbnail first. And this is good. It's simple. It's pretty clean. If I were to look at this thumbnail on my phone, it's still pretty clear. Everything stands out. A little bit of a uh, Photoshop uh -oh. happening around the finger and, and, and this. All in all, this is a pretty good thumbnail. I would give this thumbnail a B plus. Although it doesn't like say review or let's talk about it. I kind of get the gist of what this video probably will be just from the thumbnail alone. Not even looking at the title. So let's check out this video by Mate the Potate. And you know what? I like that username. Let's go. <laughs> Yeah, screw it. Go ahead and fill in solid username or channel name because mate the potato that rolls off the tongue. Now, you'll notice this video is a bit of a long boy. Are we going to watch the whole thing? No, of course not. But for longer ish videos, let's see if mate the potato can hook us in with that intro. It's me, Ray. Quick question. Do you enjoy playing video games where the main character has both eyes, a jaw, and is alive? I do. To answer your question, who doesn't, right? I'm already engaged. Darn. I love that. You're starting the video with the question, which is such a smart move. Like, unironically, I'm not doing a bit. That's such a smart, like, way to get everyone to, like, lean in. Released on the 9th of October, 1998 on the PlayStation I love this. This game was a classic. I love this. Perfect. You don't spend too much time. Ugh. You don't spend too much time talking uh, at the camera. You go right into uh, graphics. You go right into gameplay. You got a little background, this little green background. You haven't played Very, it. very nice. I 100. The game stars a knight named Sir Daniel Fortescue. Who's a lot of effort. A lot of like little efforts go a long way, right? You're like crafting this review. Clearly you have a lot to say about this game and your passion shows. So let's go to our bingo cards. I'm gonna give you good pacing because you knew exactly when to cut away from you and go straight into the gameplay. I'm gonna give you sound design because everything's well balanced and you knew when to insert music. You knew how to like put it behind you and it helps with the general pacing of the video. Oh, 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 now people are saying editing goes hard. Let's watch like a few more seconds, maybe a minute or so more of this video to see how hard the editing does or does not go. <gasps> the creators in the chat. Go ahead and mark creator is in the chat on your bingo cards if you have it. And apparently chat loves your video, dude, even though it's been two seconds. <gasps> Judas, I don't have chat loves the video, but you might. I genuinely think I've played through this game more times than I've committed murder. There's no proof that it was me. The game opens up and tells you cute. all about the lies and- This is very cute. It's very good. And I would absolutely watch the whole thing on my own time. Yeah, I don't have editing goes hard, but you might. Oh, people, you know what? Chat is screaming at me to, to add well-written. It is. You touch upon the uh, the pun of in the title. You have this recurring bit where you're a criminal. So let's go ahead and add well-written. Judas, I don't have- any of these spaces and you know what unexpected turn because of the whole side plot with a bag of bones jack loves the video i do i do like this video a lot because it's it's moving along at a very good pace and uh i'm i'm into it a little spooky for me but overall cute hey if you want to mate the potato click the link in the description below i'm willing to bet we have a bingo or three i hope you're ready for this here we go solid username uh-oh good music or sound design uh-oh credit the creator's free space <laughs> Creator is in the chat. Uh-oh. And finally, good 
pacing. You know what that is, gamers? That's a bingo. Congratulations. <laughs> Our next brave, brave volunteer from Snail Evangelist with their video, Snaillandia. But you know me, I do like to judge a book by its cover. <laughs> what in the world are we looking at here? So it's a snail with a beard, uh, bear behind the snail, uh, tree behind the, the snail, and we have like a... We have a PNG file of a, of a rifle here. I'm gonna give this thumbnail a B plus. It seems like you're trying to establish your own lore and that's ambitious. And I think we should applaud that. Shut up, creator is in the chat. Shut the front door. Mark creator in the chat and I hope you guys do too. Good use of music, suspenseful. Interesting use of color. Look at that. Everything's in black and white, save for the interior of this log cabin. Interesting choice. Artsy choice. Intriguing choice. Oh, I do like the waving, um, do you call it, is it antennae? An antennae that snails have? Oh, n now I understand why the snail has a beard. It's a, it's a lumberjack snail. I'm gonna say... Uh, <laughs> I already like the music. The music is doing a lot of um, uh, storytelling on its own. I also think it's aesthetically pleasing. I'm very tempted to give you, um, Jack doesn't know how they did that because I don't know how you animated the little antennae. Like, is that a warping effect? Is that an after effects? I don't know how to do that. You know what? Boom, we're gonna mark that because I don't know how you do that. Gorgeous. It really is telling a story. And great motion on the ax, like the ax has weight. <laughs> uh oh i laughed i laughed at this keep calm and set snail oh that's awesome made jack laugh very intrigued to see where this is going the music is very you know the, like the 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 juxtaposition of this like classical music pairing with kind of a silly animation it's giving early ren and stimpy when they would do exactly that right surviving a bear attack for dummies got it got it got it okay all right so me me thinks we're about to see some conflict set up your uh bingo cards for conflict although it's foreshadowing oh look at the 3d look at guys look at the knife in the hope poster look at the perspective to like simulate um 3d that's awesome crazy effects it is yep i'm loving this there's there's a lot of passion in this do i not have crazy effects Oh no. And also chat loves. All right, so let's go. Chat loves a vid. I'm gonna say I love a vid. Shut uh -oh. the fuck up. I even said, I even said foreshadowing, right? And look at that. Literally says foreshadowing. That's what we call, <laughs> that's what we call Jack for dicks. Uh oh, is foreshadowing misspelled? Oh no, we might have an editing mistake. All right, if we're gonna be a real dick, we can also mark editing mistake because there should be an E betwixt the R and S in the word foreshadowing. And get, yeah, uh -oh. get, go ahead and do editing goes hard. Because <laughs> the editing does go hard. It's giving Paper Mario in the best way. Okay, we have a, we have a big chase scene. A thrilling chase scene. And you're still simulating depth with like the parallax effect with the trees. I love that. I'm on the edge of my seat. You can't just cut to black. <laughs> Why? <laughs> Why? <laughs> you 1000% stuck the landing. Holy shit. Oh my god. I got a bingo. And it was also very well written. That was such a wondrous um, journey, Snail Evangelist, um, that I'm going to gift uh, 10 subs right now. That was so good. I have to subscribe. The conclusion was perfect and made total sense. <laughs> Please check out Snail Evangelist, uh, link below. Honestly, it's too good for YouTube and those are rare. So let me take all of your cards and uh, clear and scramble them. Alexander, scramble them. Let's try a, a Lego animation. This next creator is JHS13. They animated the Lego Mandalorian. Beautiful thumbnail. Having the uh, the Mandalorian character over the uh, the text, very very nice, very nice coloring. This like bluish white 
um, color palette. I would give this thumbnail, I'm thinking A minus, maybe, I don't know, maybe a different color for the Mando text to make it stand out a bit more. Like this stuff is a bit distracting. Like maybe like a, if you had like a white st stroke around the lettering, but like that's, that's nitpicking. All right, here we go. Very good sound design. That's the first thing I'll say right off the bat. I would have liked to have had some sound effects there, but that's okay. Ooh, what? Was that like motion blur? And you had to animate like the whip. Let's really get into this, right? Look at that. There is motion blur. That's a really nice touch that I missed the first time because it just, good editing is invisible, by the way. You're gonna, you're gonna probably hear me say that a bunch of times, but that's great. Like this looks like live, this feels like live action. And that's impressive as hell. Let us go to our bingo cards. I'm gonna give you good pacing. Sure, it's only 13 seconds, 12 seconds, whatever. Um, but there was, um, there was a fluidity uh, to the movement. I think we have to give you editing goes hard because it does. And I'm also going to give you crazy FX because of things like, like the, the camera shake and motion blur when the Mandalorian's firing their, their, their pew pew laser. The motion blur makes it aesthetically pleasing. A lot of Lego stop motion looks stiff and yours does not look like it. You have camera movement. You had like very realistic looking camera movement in a stop motion short. Oh, it's sound design. Thank you. <gasps> Judas, that, that, that's why. I don't have sound design. Because I'm so not very well versed in the world of stop motion, I'm gonna also add Jack doesn't know how they did that because I don't know how you did that. Maybe it was post, maybe in post you uh, like you add like camera shake or something. Chat, did you love that vid? Because if you did, we have to mark that. Chat loves this vid. Look at you, JHS13. You're already a Twitch darling here. The chat loves you. Now, people are asking, did I love it? I'm going to say I did love it because of the little, the little touches. So let's go ahead and add Jack loves the video. I don't have it. Of course, uh -oh. I don't have... I don't have that one. Let me um, like this video. Guys, if you want more from JHS13, we've linked their video in the description below. Let's see if it's real. Good music or sound design? No, 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 no. Chat loves vid. No, 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 no. Free space. Scratch that. Reverse it. Jack doesn't know how they did that. No, 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 no. Jack loves a vid. Congratulations. <laughs> You just won yourself a little creator bingo is what you did. Yeah. Our next brave creator volunteer is Phantom Star. This is Doom 1993, how id defined a genre. Now this one's a bit on the longer side. This is nearly 12 minutes long. Will we watch all of it here on stream? Probably not. When you submit a long video, I don't just want to, you know, poo poo it and say, eh, too long. Blah, blah. I want to watch like the opening minute, couple minutes, whatever, to get a feel for it, to see if it hooks us how id defined a genre now it's uh oh this is oh i like that it took me a second very very cute instead of nintendo we have phantom star instead of nintendo we have phantom star because of little touches like that that's an a plus thumbnail now here's the deal even though these details are super cute and you know you put a lot of love in these details i almost would recommend creators don't do things like this because they're impossible to see from this distance, right? And this isn't terribly attention grabbing because it just, to the untrained eye, it just looks like the the Doom um, cover art. However, you, you put in a little love in your thumbnail soup. Great thumbnail, there you go. Some of the chat said, don't say thumbnail soup. Actually, I'm gonna say thumbnail soup uh, repeatedly. Beautiful. Very strong start, mimicking the Capcom logo, you fiend. Uh, I need a game to play. Might I suggest uh, Doom uh, from publisher id? <laughs> okay, let's see here. Um, Dragon Ball Z Kakarot. So it's very, yeah, it's, it's, a, it's a cute little like opening skit almost. It's very Red Letter Media. They also open with like a skit before they dive into a review, usually like half in the bag at least. So we're doing like a fun little, little skit, right? There was overwhelming toxicity, but there were some moments where I met some genuinely. That was a real blink and you'll miss it kind of moment, huh? Like that's the thing, this video has like, we'll, we'll be sitting on gameplay footage for a minute and then the creator will throw in something, we'll edit in something as a gag. And I feel like the gags are almost like too quick. 
It's like, no, 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 marinate on that. Sit on that. Like, let's appreciate the gag a little. Because there's there's a saying, kill your darlings, right? Kill your darlings means like, even if you're really attached to like, say a joke or a bit or something, if it doesn't help the story or the short or the, whatever you're making in the long run, you have to get rid of it. Hence, kill your darling. This is almost the opposite. My suggestion is let, give your jokes more room to breathe. That's that's one bit of that's one bit of feedback I would give to you so far. Now also we're 2 minutes into a 12 minute video and we still haven't gotten into doom. I'm getting a little antsy here and if I'm getting antsy, you can imagine viewers are getting antsy too, right? They want you to talk about the thing. And I'm not just talking about doom. Like this goes for like any video. If you're advertising something in the video, we're waiting for it, right? It's we got to get to it fairly quickly. Because YouTube is an oversaturated platform, an oversaturated market. You know, if we're antsy and we're getting a little bored, those related videos on the side are going to look mighty attractive and we're going to click away. So just something to think about, right? Go ahead and mark, here's what I would do differently. Because I did just kind of, um, uh, I did just go on a tangent. That's another one. I'll give you tangent. What is there to say about Doom that already hasn't been said? When it came out in December 1993, you open the Doom section with what can be said about Doom that hasn't been said already. That's a great intro. I'm not like I'm not poo-pooing that at all. But this could have this could have been inserted 2 minutes ago. I don't think we need like the the Overwatch stuff cuz it doesn't really I was waiting for a, a segue and we never got that. The iconic art by Adrian Carmack, John Carmack's brother. Andy. Yes, very, very good. Yes, yes. I always, I'm a big fan of show, don't tell. So when you mention a person by name, let's see a photo of them. This is all very, very good. Like, all right, now we're into it. Now we're into the id and doom of it all. Phantom Star, going to give you a like. I want to thank you so much for sending this in because this is a wonderful example of a good video essay that could probably trim some of its fat, especially in the beginning. All right, let's go back to the bingo cards. I will say editing goes hard. Once it gets going, the editing goes hard and you have like some some gags. So I'm, I will give you editing goes hard for this. Oh, it takes unexpected turn. Um, That's interesting because I was not expecting two minutes of Overwatch talk. That's interesting. I'll give you unexpected turn. Oh my gosh, Phantom Star is in the chat. We did it, Joe. Well, guess what? Boom. Here's what I'm looking at. Ready? Vid takes unexpected turn. That's a bingo. Here's what I would do differently. Pronouns! Free space. Editing goes hard. Pronouns! And made Jack cringe. Congratulations. We have another bingo freaking winner. More creator bingo. This one comes from the creator Bellhop Drew. With every piece of Nintendogs merchandise. Already... My fingers are, <coughs> excuse me, a clee with excitement. <laughs> Sorry. The creator's in chat. Oh my God, we haven't even started. And we have the creator in the chat with us. The spirit is in the room with us. <laughs> Let's talk about the thumbnail. Because remember, that's what the thumbnail looks like on your cellular telephones. So I like Drew uh, with a nice little um, textured uh, banner there. Look at that. We have some tar a Target exclusive game. Uh, and case. This is a pretty good thumbnail. This is a very, this is a very clean, well-made thumbnail. You know what, guys? This is an A plus thumbnail. Great thumbnail. Also, I like the title. We are not going to watch all 25 minutes of this. We're not even going to watch the first 10 minutes of this, right? But we are going to watch some of it. Very nice opening. This oozes uh, production value. This oozes Drew's been around the block. This oozes. Drew is a seasoned professional who knows what they're doing. Unspecified high quality landfill. Hey, there's dogs in here. Remember when Nintendo Dogs was like very Scott the Waz? <laughs> it's give. I I just one more thing. It's giving Scott the Waz. <laughs> Not a bad thing at all. I just, I, it was like, that was, I can hear Scott the Waz saying that in a video. I don't, I was three. The concept for this. I like your layout. Can we talk about your layout? There's a lot of history here. There's a lot of detail here. Look at that. So we got the Disney adult stuff here on the left side. Uh, Epcot, Epcot, Disney Mickey. <laughs> Got some Earthbound, some Wii U, Bill and Ted. A lot of thought and care 
went into the background. The concept for this wacky little dog carrying Very good editing, good pacing already. We're only 17 seconds in. The pacing's pretty solid. Simulator began all the way back in the late 1990s oh. when Earthbound's dad- Oh, this is so good. This is, this is a seasoned YouTuber. They know exactly what they're doing with the, the transition sound effect. The Windows startup sound to match to, 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 to place you in that decade. And Shigesato Itoi met up with Pokemon's dad, Tsunekazu Ishihara, and went, Hey, do you want to make a pet simulation thing for the Nintendo 64 disc Lovely. drive? Lovely. And Ishihara goes, and Jack Film goes, editing goes hard. It's just, it's very whip bam, you know, kaplow, but it's, it's not too much. It's just enough. And you know exactly when to use it, when not to use it, when to back off when to lean in. I'm gonna give you aesthetically pleasing just for your background. Oh, where's sound design? Cause sound design is uh -oh. awesome. <gasps> Judas, I don't have sound design. I'm gonna say Jack loves a vid and also good pacing. If you wanna watch the full 25 minute video, and I think you should, click the link below. Cause we link to all of the creators that you'll see here today. This is making me so mad. 972 subscribers. Well, here's 973 and I'm gonna like this. Bellhop Drew. You got a new fan here. Oh my gosh. And sh and look at that. Chat is saying uh, video credit. Look at that. Bellhop Drew is so erm um, epic sauce poggers. They credit the creators just like we do here on Judge of Jack's films. As should we all. No notes. It's perfect. Go ahead and mark well written because it's phenomenal. Oh, chat loves. I, I hope chat loves. I love. We have. A potential bingo. Good title. We did it. Good music or sound design. We did it. Credit the creators. Creators in the chat. We did it. Editing goes hard. That's a bingo. Okay, this our final submission for the evening for this stream. This one comes from Zolo Tao. Mantis is love. 2022 animated short film. This is the thumbnail, and it's kind of perfect. Like great composition. It stands out if you're like looking at it from a distance, and it's tiny. Like the the the. The text is super readable. I don't want to just say good thumbnail, good, but this is an A plus thumbnail. This looks more like a poster for a short film. Great thumbnail. Let's watch this uh, this video that was willingly submitted by its creator, Zolotal, who I've linked below if you want to watch more of their work. And something tells me uh, we just might want to watch more of their work. Chat prediction. Video will have a twist ending where one mantis eats the other's head. Okay. So a couple of people in the chat have predicted this has a bit of a, a, a savage ending, right? Given the nature of uh, praying mantises, manti, whatever. Already, it's far too good for YouTube. This does not belong on YouTube. This is a Vimeo video. This is what they show at um, film festivals. Oh, is this how they fall in love? Is that the meat cute? That's the effing meat cute. Adorable. Oh my god, there's more. I thought it was gonna end there. We're given a montage? I think chat's right. I do, like... <laughs> I do think Twitch chat is 1000% correct in the ending that you predicted. Let's see. Amazing. Wow. Even though we all saw it coming, it was still, it was still terrifying, and it was still somewhat shocking, especially with like the the tendon snapping. Did you really have to animate the tendon snapping? All right, we have a lot of bingo to play. Made me laugh. Great sound design. Editing mistake. Kidding. <laughs> Great pacing. Chat loves the vid. I loved the vid. Am I not? Damn it, I don't have it. Uh, chat predicts, because you absolutely predicted the shit out of that. Sticks the landing. There you go, sticks the landing, thank you. Do I not have sticks the landing? Judas. Well written, it was perfect. That montage scene was so well done. Oh, aesthetically pleasing. Mantis is... I'm gonna say Jack doesn't get joke, because I still don't really get the title. Apparently everyone else in chat does. I do not get the title. I, I am gonna say no notes, it's perfect. I can't say Oscar worthy acting, but I will say that was an Oscar worthy short. Let me give you a little thumbs up and a sub. Incredible short, genuinely too good for YouTube. I just wish I got the title. <laughs> Someone has to have a bingo, right? Chat loves vid. Scratch that. Good pacing. Scratch that. Credit the creators. Like mine now? Made Jack laugh. Scratch that. And finally Jack loves 
a vid. That's a bingo. That's obviously a bingo. <laughs> hey, bingo babies. We're playing more creator bingo tonight at this time. So if you want to join us, we have a link to my Twitch in the description below. And if you're a creator that wants to send in your own work for us to evaluate and play bingo with, we also have a link below that'll take you to a Google form to fill out.